Hello again. I'm here to do one final video on my sheep band here. So let's take a look at what we got. On day one, I made a, a sheep guitar player. Day two, a sheep, a sheep bass player. Day three, I put the drums in and put the sheep up here. Now, I mean, it looks like it's almost done, but as a musician, I just couldn't not do this last video. Um, it's really important when you're a musician to have good gear, right? So I'm gonna draw on the rest of their gear. So I mentioned before that this sheep is singing, right? You can't really sing in a rock band if you don't have a microphone. So I'm gonna draw this thing here. It's like a circle and then a tube coming out of it. That's gonna be my microphone. Um, and microphones are attached to microphone stands. So I'm gonna switch over here and do with my chisel tip here, this mic that kind of comes out like this and then attaches to a second stand right here. This is called a boom mic because it has this long pole on it that's like a boom, like on a boat. All right, now before I leave this real quick, a nice way to make kind of the boom, I'm oh, sorry, the mic is to do this stripey texture. Mics have like a wire mesh over top of the, the part that actually grab the sound. So now I've got him singing into a mic. All right, another thing you're gonna have to use if you're a musician, especially if you play electric guitar or electric bass, is an amplifier. So they generally sit on the ground and they typically are big black boxes. So I'm gonna put down here a big black box. Uh, amplifiers kind of have two parts to them. The first part is a thinner part up top. This thing has switches and knobs and dials and stuff like that. So that's the top part of my amplifier. The bottom part um, is generally a circle. Well, I guess it would be better to say a circle inside a circle. That's the thing that actually produces the sound. That's the speaker. And typically, those things are hidden behind uh, a mesh, a wire mesh. Not quite as thick as the one that goes over the microphone that my sheep friend is singing in. But just kind of going back and forth like this, you can kind of create the illusion that there is a wire mesh over that. So there's my amplifier. Not bad, right? Um, now, guitars also need amplifiers, so I'll put one over here, but I'm kind of running out of room. So I'm going to try and sneak it behind this little sheep here. Amplifiers are not super important when you're drawing. I mean, they're really important when you're playing music, um, but you know, you don't have to get too into it. It just kind of helps complete the overall look that I'm going for. Put another little round speaker in there. You see how I'm changing up all these Sharpies from the real thickest to the real thinnest and back again? Whatever it takes to get the job done. It's really important to just vary the size of your line whenever you can. That's really what helps make drawings nice to look at is when they have kind of different kinds of lines. Okay, so now I have my mic, I have my two amplifiers. One thing that's fun to do is to connect them. Um, this can be really tricky though. There has to be a cord that goes from the instrument to the, the amplifier. Um, what basically happens is these cords just fall to the ground and then they kind of travel along the ground a little bit and then they go into the amplifier. So I'll take one cord here and make it fall to the ground and then it just kind of snakes along the ground and then it goes to the amplifier. And there we go. Now they're all set to rock out. We have just a few minutes left. I thought maybe I would uh, go back with a pencil. This is something I haven't really done much at all in this video series. And just kind of give these sheep a little bit of texture. This pencil, I'm just kind of doing these roundish shapes like this. You don't have to do it everywhere. Just you know, wherever you think there would be some. It looks really good. 
um, if you do like shadows with it on your sheep, sheep shadows. So this just kind of helps draw the sheep out of their background. You know, when it's just these cloudy blobs, shapes, cloudy blobby shapes against the white background, sometimes it's hard to see you know, what's the sheep and what's the background. So just by adding, you know, just some swirls here with pencil, that really kind of helps make the sheep jump out from the background, stand out a little bit. Almost done here. Put a little bit back here on this guy. Pull him away from his drums a little bit, otherwise it looks like he's just you know, part of the background. But now if I put this, this pattern in here, this real tight coily pattern, there you go, he really comes to life. So there we go. Got myself a sheep band with a guitar player, singer, a bass player, and a sheep drummer with their amplifiers and everything. So well, it was a lot of fun. Thanks very much for uh, for 